Jerry Seinfeld, the comedian, had some interesting remarks while in conversation with Barry Weiss. He called for a return of traditional masculinity, masculine men talking about that going missing from society as a bad thing. Let's watch this clip. I feel like, is it now? Is a sense of like one conversation, yes. like a common culture. And I was watching it and thinking, okay, on the one hand, maybe it's just Jerry Seinfeld wanting to have fun and enjoy himself and yes. fulfill this many, 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 many years long development yes. of his Pop-Tart bit. Right. But on the other hand, I couldn't help but wonder if part of it is maybe your own nostalgia for this time that feels like another planet or at least well, another country. Well, of course country. it does. But there's another element there that I think is the key element, and that is an agreed upon hierarchy, mm. which I think is absolutely vaporized in, in today's moment. Okay. And I think that is why people lean on the horn and drive in the crazy way that they drive, <laughs> because we have no sense of hierarchy. And as humans, we don't really feel comfortable like that. So um, that is part of what I think is, if you want to, uh, talk about nostalgia, that's part of what makes that moment attractive looking back. And the other thing is, as a, as a, a man, can I you say sure that? Are you sure you are? Are yeah. you? I, 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 well, I've I mean, always I wanted to be. I didn't ask your pronouns before I've always began. wanted to be a real man. <laughs> I never made it. But I, <laughs> I really thought when I was that, in that era, again, it was JFK, it was Muhammad Ali, it was Sean Connery. Howard Cosell, you can go all the way down there. That's a real man. I'm gonna, I want to be like that someday. Mm. Well, no, I never really grew up. It's that's, a, I mean, you don't want to as a comedian because it's a childish uh, pursuit. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right. There well, let's read some reactions to this. What are critics of Seinfeld saying? We have folks pointing out that Jerry Seinfeld likes a significant age gap in his relationships. He likes to really ensure he's the dominant male. We have Ask Aubrey on Twitter tweeting out, or Xing out, what do you say now? Oh, Remember with, with the term for <laughs> 38 years old, Jerry Seinfeld picked up 17-year-old high school student Shoshana Lonstein at a park. He was always that guy and obviously hasn't changed. Another person pointing out, Jerry Seinfeld dated a high schooler when he was almost 40, saying he misses dominant masculinity is the first thing he's ever said that made me laugh. <laughs> well, and now I see, okay, I see people dragging him for saying, oh, you're saying traditional masculinity or like more masculine men is a good thing, but you're not a very, you're not a, you don't fit that mold. But of course, during that clip he said, and yes, I have never fit that mold because comedians are not like that. I mean, a, yeah. so he was not, he was not describing himself as like the ideal male. He was saying there, it used to be, a, 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 I guess, a societal he said value he likes that was to be. A masculine man. Yeah. It's a personal preference that Seinfeld has. <laughs> he likes being either on the bottom of the hierarchy or he is a bottom and he likes a masculine man. I haven't sorted it out, but that's what I gather from his statements. So how about this, Jessica? I don't think that needs to be the, you know, he talks about a hierarchy that needs to be aspired to by all, but I just don't, I don't think, and he said a little bit of this, I don't think traditional masculinity needs to be either promoted as the ideal or disparaged as bad. And that is what we do now, Jessica. And I'd that has a that. lot of conservatives upset. I, we talked to, uh, Brianna and I talked about the, um, for instance, like uh, the Daily Wire making millions of dollars selling like anti-woke men's products like razors because as a result of years ago, Gillette putting out a commercial that was perceived as stigmatizing traditional masculinity. You're saying there's something wrong with men and there's not enough introspection or not enough reckoning with the harms that men cause others and all of that kind of thing. And it can feel um, uh, um, uh, harsh and, and, mm -hmm. and anti-male, a war on men going on. Yeah, I think there can be masculine men who recognize that men's role in society has been damaging to women. I mean, the reason we had an agreed upon culture hierarchy like Jerry Seinfeld's talking about is because society's idea of what a good man was was one put forth by men. 
Now that you have the female gaze coming into play, determining what is attractive and what is not, Jerry's confused. She's like, it's all chaos. Mm -hmm. But I think most people see, okay, women have preferences in men that are not just, we always want this traditional masculine men. Everyone has different they prefer, preferences. They prefer bears. They're all okay. They're all okay. Did you see that whole okay. discourse about the- I did. That was ridiculous. Why do you think it's ridiculous? The, um, uh, we Let's should explain. let the viewers know. There was a, it was like, what? It was going viral on X, women saying TikTok, that yeah. men are more, uh, I mean, it was just a not understanding statistics well. Uh, some Someone saying that uh, more women are physically harmed by men than physically harmed by bears. So would you rather meet, like if you were alone in the woods, would you rather come across a man or a bear? Because the worst a bear can do is kill you. Well, okay, right, but like st that's, it's a bad use of statistics because in, in, while, while there might be more overall, there are just fewer encounters between women or anyone and, or bears, a higher proportion of them will result in violence and are dangerous. So if you're, ticket, if you're taking the bear over the man in that situation, um, well, God people aren't collecting statistics out of all bear encounters or times when bears were in the same vicinity, how many women were harmed, and comparing that to, to men. We just don't have that data. But it's we really- We do have a, that data. It's a, it's bear a, encounters no. are very dangerous. But we don't collect data on bear encounters. Well, we, yes, we, what, what do you mean? People aren't logging with the Department of Wildlife every time they're in the same vicinity as a bear. It is more dangerous to encounter. I, I am asserting as fact that it is more dangerous to encounter a bear in the woods no, there are, than a random I think human being or male. Encountering a random man in the woods versus a bear. Many women would prefer the bear because there's protocols well, for if you're in the same vicinity then. as a bear. You lay yeah. down if it's a black bear, you run if it's a grizzly bear, Just or vice up. versa. Don't track me on that. But there are plenty of videos of people encountering bears. You run, bears. the bear chases you, it kills you. There are plenty of encounters tree, in our national parks. You and kills you. People are laying down and the bear just walks by. They're not interested in eating humans. They like eating fish and berries, Robbie. They don't want to eat us. Bears I are bad. brutal killers and you do not want, I, I, Jessica, if you're alone in the woods but and I you're think, in this situation. But that's the point. Many women would rather be well, killed they, suddenly than slowly by a creepy man in the woods. You think bears, it, it, the bear can kill you slowly. The bear can maul you and it can be really awful. I'm just, I, and I think many women prefer that to being <laughs> sexually assaulted well, and then killed. Neither of these things should take place, obviously, but uh, okay, okay. I, you're, so you're, are, were you the originator of this? Were you behind this? I was not. Did you put this idea in women's heads that I've they're thought, safer with the- uh, I've thought deeply about it though, Robbie. Have we thought about the bear's feelings? No. no this, is, this is very- but, but they act based on basic instincts. You know what I mean? A man can be very calculated and do gross things. But back to Jerry Seinfeld. I okay, wonder I'm what he would say about go, it. Go ahead. But to say that you know, he, you know, he wants a man's man, right? A masculine man to aspire to. He still has that. No one's saying you can't do that. I think what's confusing to him is that now the female gaze is not what he anticipated it was, and that's devastating. But. In any case, I'm confused by him saying that that's why people lay on the horn in traffic. We used to have agreed upon hierarchies. Was the right of way determined by like, oh, what a very manly man with a very full beard. Go right ahead, mm. sir. That's never how traffic was conducted in the United States. I don't know what he's talking about there. Yes, Seinfeld these days is, I think, um, sort of just promoting or talking about a kind of generic nostalgia that we all have to some degree. It just so happens that his, you know, his nostalgia is for the era his, he's describing. Kennedy, those people he mentioned, you know, the 60s, 70s, et cetera, being 80s, being the time period of his youth, and so he's nostalgic for it. There was a recent chart showing that like everyone is basically nostalgic for whatever time period coincided with when you were 14 and a half years old. Oh. Um, I, that, you know, I, I, I too am nostalgic for like, the late 90s and early aughts because that was the time period of my childhood and I think it was the greatest time period in human history. And yes, I think the music was better and the fashion was better. And I just like the way things were better. And you might not be quite old enough yet, Jessica, to have this sentiment, <laughs> but you will, I'm sure, um, long for the days of your youth 
the what the the late 20 teens or something uh recession i don't long for the recession yeah, i mean that was a bad time i don't know if this if this time period co coincides with like the covid 19 pandemic right. maybe this will be the first generation to say thanks but no thanks that was not great yes. um apologies to any uh women or rugged men or, or bears, bears watching who were offended the program. by the content we put out today more rising right after this